Hey guys, so it's me editing this video right now and I actually just realized that I didn't have an intro for this video so I'm doing it right now. I just want to quickly clarify that this video was supposed to be about me um, doing like a weekly vlog of me getting ready for my birthday and stuff but it just didn't work out like that. I really only ended up filming like two days worth of footage so yeah what you guys are going to see in this video is you're going to see me take down my braids and go get my belly button piercing and also me doing my quick weave so yeah i'm gonna let you guys go ahead and watch this whole video and i hope you guys really do enjoy don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and let's go ahead and get into this video <laughs> I trimmed my ends because they were so bad. Um, I just did like, I trimmed them a little bit. Let me show you guys how much hair I trimmed off. Literally this much hair. Like this is not a lot at all. And I probably need to trim it a little bit more. But it looks good enough for right now. I'm going to begin my belly button pierce today. So I'm going to take you guys along that process and everything. So I made it home. I just made it home. I want to talk to you guys about my belly button piercing. So it was really quick. It took like less than a minute to do. And personally, I feel like my nose piercing hurt more than me getting my belly button pierced. This is what it looks like. 
right now it's just really sore and I need to clean it so I'm going to clean it right now so I got a q-tip I got a q-tip and I'm just trying to this is the brand that I use I get it from um I get it from Walgreens so that's what I'm using I'm just going to put it on the cotton swab like this I'm just gonna clean it. Ooh. Kinda burns. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. It kinda burns. It's still kind of bleeding. Yeah, it's still kind of bleeding. So I'm just going to take the dry side and just dry it. Yeah, so it's still sore. It's still sore, so... I'm going to be careful with it. I also forgot that I sleep on my stomach, so I don't know how I'm going to sleep tonight because I don't like sleeping on my back. I guess I have to sleep on my side. Yeah, but the lady said to, the lady said that it's going to take about four to six weeks for it to heal, which I thought that's pretty quick. I thought it'd take longer. Because um, when I got my nose piercing, they told me that it takes a whole year for this to um, properly heal. And I've been had this for about, oopsie, got stuff on my face. I've been had this for about two years now. So it's, it's more than healed, you know what I'm saying? So it's only going to take like a month or a month and a half for it to heal. But yeah, it looks really nice. It looks really cute. I got the kind with the gym the little the little gem in it so yeah that's pretty much what i'm gonna do today i'm not gonna do i think it's around seven so i don't have anything else to do and i'm on spring break so so i'm just gonna chill probably gonna start editing this other video that i need to edit and get uploaded i'm behind on my uploading schedule so yeah that's what i'm about to do and i'll probably see you guys tomorrow i may do something tomorrow <laughs> still sleep but I just got done putting conditioner and detangling my hair and now I'm finna go wash it I'm finna go shampoo it and come back so I can do my quick leave but this is how much hair I lost which is not a lot let me just stretch it out <coughs> I don't think it's a lot especially because I haven't washed my hair in probably like three weeks so this is probably like the norm that I usually use, um, but whenever I wear braids for a long time or like for like two months, it's usually like double this amount, but this is how much hair I lost, so I'm about to go shampoo my hair, and then I'm going to come back and do my quick weave. <laughs>
two I still have the two 16 inches and the 14 inches I'm almost done with the 18 inch but this is how it's looking so far I didn't realize that this hair was brown so um because in the package it looked like it was like black but when I pulled it out and actually started to separate it, it looks, it's actually brown, which I guess that's okay. I'm going to try to blend it in as much as possible. Now that I'm looking at it, I probably left out a little bit too much hair. But we're just going to go with it. So I kind of feel like I'm know, I know what I'm doing now. So 
this is how much hair I have left over from the 16 inch so I'm going to keep applying it so the first thing I'm going to do is measure it out first to see how much I need Have it right there. Mm, probably right there. So then I cut it. And now I'm going to put the glue on. Now, you have to be really careful when you put the glue on because I accidentally got some of the glue on the hair strands itself. And it was starting to make it look like it just yeah I had to get the glue out and stuff so try not to get the glue on the hair so what I do is I actually sit down and I put it on my knee like this and go across like that so that the hair so that the glue won't get on the hair so that's what I'm about to do right now I mean, I know you guys can't see me, but I'm just going to. This is not really a tutorial because this is my first time doing this, so I don't want to do a tutorial on something that I don't know how to do myself. Okay, so now that I got the glue on, I'm carefully going to switch it around so that I can apply it. And then I just put it over and then I kind of just eyeball where I need to place the hair at. And I'm just going to hold it down for a couple of seconds like this. And then I'm going to go in with my blow dryer to make sure that by the way this glue gets everywhere like but it dries really quickly so all you have to do is just rub it off i did not know this glue got everywhere but i'm about to take my blow dryer and just press it down make sure it's all dry the good thing is that it only takes about 30 seconds for the hair glue to dry so that's I guess that's good but there we go we got the so I'm just gonna keep applying the tracks until I run out of hair or until I get to the top of my hair where I have to cut um, the cap which I'm really nervous about that because I don't want it to like slip And I'm going to try my best to use every, all of this hair, like, see I have these two little pieces left, so I'm just going to place them um, around where I think I need them. And then I'm going to get started on the 16 inch. Okay, so now I'm about to cut the wig cap. I don't know why I'm so nervous for this. Make sure I don't cut my own hair first of all. It's so hard to see if this is actually my hair right now. Okay, so I cut around it, cut it out. Yeah, I think this is way too much hair that is left out, but we're going to see what else. I'm going to finish putting the tracks around. I'll come back to when I get ready to straighten my hair.
Okay guys, so I'm done. I think it looks really good. I think I did a really good job for it being my first time doing this. Of course, my hair is gonna poof up, but I'm gonna try my best to keep it flat. I have bought one of these Cantu um, hair wax, so hopefully it helps to keep it down. But, um, this is how it turned out. You can't really tell that it's like a different hair color. It's just a little bit darker in the front, but I think it looks good. It feels secure. I don't think it's gonna slip out. I put a lot of glue in the yeah, I put a lot of glue, I put a lot of that protective stuff, so it doesn't feel like the cap is going to slip off, which that's what I was worried about. But yeah, so I didn't even use up all the hair um, because I wanted it to be a little flatter. I didn't want it to be too thick. I kind of wanted it to like match my hair when I straighten it. So that's why I didn't use up all the hair. Pretty much, I just have this track right here. And this is the 16 inch. And then I used up all the 18 inch. And then I just have the 14 inch, which I didn't use at all. So I still have a lot of hair left over. That pack was about $24. So if you have a bigger head, then you should be able to use one pack and it'd be enough. My head is kind of small, so that's why I think I wasn't able to use up all the hair, but I think it turned out cute. <laughs> For me to do it myself, but it turned out cute. Oh, and this is how long the hair is. It's not too long. I don't want it to be that long. You see? It's not too long. It took me like four hours to do this. So for this to be called a quick weave, it was not quick for me. But I think it's because it's my first time doing it and I really didn't know what to do. So yeah, yeah, it took me like four hours to do it, which not too bad, you know what I'm saying? Not too bad, but yeah, I'm gonna try my best to keep this up and keep this in for probably like a couple weeks. And we'll see how it go when I take this out. That will determine if I ever do this again, if it's easy for it, for the glue and the tracks and stuff to come off. Okay guys, so um, it is my birthday and it's actually night time. I have already been out with my family and stuff. Um, we went to Juicy Crab, which seafood is my most favorite thing, especially crab legs. So I got me some crab legs and I also got shrimp. And I'm back now. We were going to go bowling, but um, the bowling alley was really packed and it, they, were, they were almost about to close and they told us it was going to be like an hour and 30 minute wait so we just decided to come home but i just wanted to close out this video and thank you guys for coming along with me getting ready i know I, I probably didn't film much and i actually forgot to film when we was at the restaurant but i really did just wanted to spend you know oop, my eyelashes coming off but i really just wanted to spend my day with my family you know so I had really fun. My hair is still cute. I think next time I'm gonna get like, I'm gonna find like a hair texture that is a little bit more similar to my hair texture because it's kind of hard to, to keep my hair from poofing up because it's natural. So it's not gonna get straightened. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. Bye.